epoxy, epoxy. And slab day. Whoa, yes, first time ever doing a slab epoxy pour thingy for the laundry room upstairs. So, let's get started. Welcome to the Calmer Project. I'm from Chicago. There's no surfing here, so countertop slab. Okay, so this is what we're working with, and I think we're gonna have two rivers that kind of merge into one. That's what it's looking like. Because you kind of have to work off of what the slab is telling you. You can't force it into anything, just make it work. Oh, spider! I love spiders. So yeah, like I was saying, you kind of got to work with what you got. And I got all this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is a major twist in this slab, and hopefully when I start flattening it, it's gonna straighten out, but I don't know. So I got my rough dimensions cut. This is pretty much how it's gonna look. And this side right here didn't go down very much, so I'm gonna have some flattening to do. But first, I gotta do something about the bark. Yeah, gotta remove all the bark and they call the face flip nice. My underwear doesn't get caught on it. Okay, so we are getting there with this slab. I'm just working on the live edge portion of it. It's not very alive anymore. Stupid joke, full of them. All right, so I gotta get all of this stuff out of here because it's pretty much rotten. And if I don't, I'm afraid it's not gonna bond very well with the epoxy. And once I start flattening it, it's just gonna start crumbling all over the place. So all this rotten stuff needs to go bye-bye. This is gonna take forever guys I gotta figure out a different method yeah never played with anything this big if I did that with a hand plane look like Schwarzenegger I mean I'm close but I think I would have to get a new wardrobe so uh, yeah can't afford it so we're gonna use a router this thing even sharp It's gonna be fun, they said. Prepare, <laughs> baby. Now I'm gonna line these two up, screw this one to it, build the rails on top of this. Yeah.
tabletop epoxy and I've never worked with this stuff but apparently you can only pour one eighth of an inch which kind of sucks so I actually ordered eco epoxy which is gonna be here in about two days we're gonna do the first coat with this stuff and then maybe a second coat with it and then by that time maybe eco epoxy will be here we can pour the rest of the slab which is two inches thick we're gonna be adding some black pigment to it called black ninja so it should look really cool hey, wait. got this thing poured but while I was doing it yesterday I kind of got sick so I think the fumes coming off of this thing made me really sick and I got nauseous pale and I actually almost passed out so today we're gonna be wearing a mask we're gonna open up some windows hopefully the temperature still remains 75 in here which is required for this epoxy we're gonna do one more pour of this epoxy and then we're gonna move on to eco epoxy which is supposed to be Comar friendly but we'll see about that Awesome! Yay! Alright, so this stuff is curing much faster than I anticipated. It's been three hours. It's time to pour another layer. solid hard the epoxy um, it's been 72 hours since my last pour and uh, I just wanted to wait until eco epoxy got here so that I could do the final pour all in one let's get to mixing and do the final pour yes Had a little leak over here and had to dam that up. And then I also had one here and I did the same thing with hot glue. So hopefully that will stay. <laughs> that was just like full blown emergency mode spills. Had to dam them up a little bit. Um, for some reason, the slab just lifted up on the sun and I didn't catch it. The caulk actually separated from the tieback taping and it started coming out from underneath here. So, um, yeah, live and learn. Double check. Don't think it's good. Make sure it's good. Yeah, that's not enough. So I 
kind of figured out what's going on. I think I didn't put, I didn't clamp these pieces down because they're all individual pieces. And what I think happened is it just warped with me pouring all the epoxy in and just lifted one end up and basically made my life a lot harder. I guess we're just gonna get to flattening. Gonna put it down. Don't judge me. You know what I put on the map? Game of C now. Wow. They make masks that will kind of eliminate that. If you guys know, let me know in the comment section below because no bueno. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. Oh my god. It's flat. First step in this process is going to be remove all the lines that are left from the flattening process. I already did that with a 40 grit on the belt sander and then I went ahead and I refilled all the little bug holes that were left over and now we're going to go ahead and start going through the grits. 60. 80. 80. you believe it? 120. Let's get there. Okay, now for the finish. We're gonna be using Rubio Monaco. This is the pure one, and we got the accelerator so that it actually cures within a couple days instead of a couple weeks. I'm gonna use 30 milliliters of the Rubio and 10 of the accelerator. So let's get that mixed up. Absolutely gorgeous. This has been a long time coming and I can't even tell you guys how good this feels. So I guess the only thing that's left is to install this bad boy and uh, put some clothes on it. top is done. Not only can you fold clothes on it, you could take a nap if you really wanted to. But in all honesty guys, this build took a lot out of me. I ran into a lot of problems that I needed to solve. I figured those out and I'm so happy that I did because it looks absolutely amazing. We are super happy with it and the room is almost done. So a couple more videos coming out. There's going to be one on these shelves right behind me. Also, full laundry room renovation, which you definitely don't want to miss. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification. That way you can see all my craziness. And if you want to see all the behind the scenes of building projects just like this one and many, many others, go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram. I'm very active there and you get to see all the shenanigans and problems I run into over there. So thank you so much for joining me on my experience. I love building this thing and I'll see you guys next time.